Godzilla Minus One is a film that interrogates Japan's past of honour culture and wartime practice of treating their people's lives as disposable. After their defeat in World War II, in the ruins of their country, Japan is pushed to reflect on the failures of this past ethos, with traumatised survivors around who act as evidence of its immorality. While the film tells a redemption story for main character Kui Chi, sorry if I pronounced that incorrectly, who is grappling with the guilt of evading his duty as a World War II kamikaze pilot, it also tells a redemption story for Japan. Kuichi is finally fully forgiven for his past when he plays his part in the defeat of Godzilla, but he's also forgiven because of the cultural shift which shines a light on the fact that he should never have been ordered to sacrifice his life as a kamikaze pilot in the first place. His past sins are a result of Japan's past sins. Japan was on the wrong side of the war, treating their own people as disposable, and the country rebuilds itself with the new recognition, at least amongst the general populace, if not within the government, that people are not disposable. In defeating Godzilla, the people of Japan are given the opportunity to forge a new cultural legend which they can be proud of, proud of how they acted in the face of that challenge. Authority figures allowing people to volunteer for the fight, rather than demanding it of them, working as a team who treat each other like equals, rather than people in authority giving cruel diktats. Just as Godzilla is a metaphor for post-war anxieties in the Japanese psyche, main character Koichi acts as a metaphor for the self-reflection, shame, and ultimate redemption of Japan. I hope you enjoyed this quick take. If so, show me by leaving a comment or a like, so that I know if it's worth doing more of these. I'm currently working on one of my big video essays on something else monster related, so that should be posted before too long. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.